Welcome to our exploration of the life and legacy of Tomislav, the founding figure of Croatia's early history and the first Croatian king. From his rise to power to the establishment of the Croatian state, Tomislav's story is one of leadership, resilience, and nation-building. Join us as we delve into the fascinating tale of this influential figure, whose impact continues to resonate through the centuries in Croatia and beyond. Birth and Origins The birth and origins of King Tomislav, a prominent figure in Croatian history, are shrouded in historical uncertainty. Born in the 10th century, Tomislav emerged during a time of political turmoil in the medieval Croatian lands. Little is known about his early life or family background, but historians assume that he was a son of Munsimir, his predecessor as Duke of Croatia and that he might have been a member of the Trpimorovic dynasty. Reign as Duke of Croatia, Tomislav ascended to the throne of Croatia around 910-914 AD, succeeding his predecessor Munsimir. Despite historical records of Tomislav being scarce, he is believed to have been the son of Munsimir. Notably, the Chronicle of the Priest of Dukelja mentions Tomislav's successful resistance against Hungarian incursions, particularly highlighted in the Battle of Drava River. Under his rule, Croatia expanded its territory into the collapsed Pannonian Duchy, reclaiming strategic locations such as Sisak. Meanwhile, to the east, the growing power of the First Bulgarian Empire posed new challenges. Tomislav's realm covered much of southern and central Croatia, but exact territorial delineations remain uncertain. Administrative divisions under Tomislav included eleven counties and a military force whose size, as reported by Byzantine sources, is viewed with some skepticism by historians. Nonetheless, Tomislav's reign marks a significant period in Croatian history, characterized by territorial expansion and diplomatic maneuvering amidst shifting regional powers. Coronation and Croatian Kingdom Tomislav's ascension to the throne of Croatia by 925 AD marked a significant milestone in Croatian history, as it was the first time a Croatian ruler was officially recognized as king by the papal chancellery. Despite the importance of this event, the exact details surrounding Tomislav's coronation remain shrouded in mystery, with varying suggestions regarding the date, location, and officiant of the ceremony. However, historical documents such as letters from Thomas the Archdeacon's History of Salona and Pope John X's correspondence affirm Tomislav's royal status. While no inscriptions directly confirm his title, subsequent references by his 10th-century successors as kings suggest the legitimacy of Tomislav's kingship. Speculations regarding his coronation at Dovno, based on older historical accounts, lack concrete evidence according to modern scholars. The identity of King Svatopluk mentioned in the Chronicle of the Priest of Dukelja, potentially associated with Tomislav, remains uncertain, leaving the circumstances of Tomislav's coronation open to interpretation, with theories proposing involvement from the Pope or self-coronation before the 925 Council of Split. Councils of Split In 925, Pope John X convened a church council in Split to resolve a jurisdictional dispute between Gregory, the Croatian Bishop of Nien, and John, the Archbishop of Split, regarding ecclesiastical rights in the former Roman province of Dalmatia. Despite Gregory's larger territory, Split, claiming continuity with the ancient Archbishopric of Salona, was confirmed as the Archiepiscopal See, extending its authority from the river Raza in Istria to Coter, including Nien. Additionally, the Council addressed the use of the Croatian language and glagolitic script in religious services, allowing their use for local clergy but restricting their advancement. Thomas the Archdeacon's Historia Salonitana omitted mention of the council to maintain narrative consistency, asserting Split's ecclesiastical rights since the 7th century. Notably, Tomislav, referred to as a king, and Michael of Zahumulj attended the council, with some historians speculating on Michael's recognition of Tomislav's authority. Despite Bishop Gregory's appeal to the Pope, a subsequent council in 928 affirmed split supremacy and abolished the Diocese of Nien, reinforcing the decisions made in the initial council. War with Bulgaria During Tomislav's reign, amid the conflict between the Bulgarian and Byzantine empires, Croatia found itself strategically positioned between the warring factions. In 924, Bulgaria, 
led by Emperor Simeon I, devastated the Principality of Serbia, forcing Serbian Prince Zaharija and his people to seek refuge in Croatia, an ally of Byzantium. Tomislav likely received concessions from Byzantium, possibly control over coastal cities or taxes from the theme of Dalmatia, for his support. When Bulgaria, perceiving Croatia as a threat, launched an attack led by Duke Alagoboder, Tomislav swiftly repelled their advance and decisively defeated them in the Croatian-Bulgarian Battle of 926, possibly in eastern Bosnia. Following Simeon's death in 927, Pope John X intervened, sending legates to mediate between Croatia and Bulgaria, ultimately restoring peace. However, the circumstances surrounding Tomislav's death remain shrouded in mystery, as he disappeared from the political scene after 928, leaving Trepimer II to succeed him as ruler. Legacy Tomislav holds a revered position as the inaugural Croatian king and the architect of the early Croatian state. This esteem is manifested through various tributes and commemorations. In 1927, Zagreb, Croatia's capital, dedicated a square in his honor, adorned with a monumental sculpture crafted by Robert Franges Mihanovic. Likewise, the Bosnian city of Dovno underwent a name change to Tomislavgrad in 1925, orchestrated by King Alexander I of Yugoslavia to mark the millennium of Tomislav's coronation, prompting widespread celebrations throughout the kingdom. Even in modern times, Tomislav's significance endures, with his likeness gracing the reverse side of the Croatian 1000 Kuna banknote issued in 1994 showing his cultural and historical impact in Croatia. In conclusion, the life of Tomislav, the first Croatian king, stands as a testament to the resilience and determination of the Croatian people in shaping their nation's history. From his rise to power to the establishment of the early Croatian state, Tomislav's legacy continues to inspire reverence and admiration. His contributions are commemorated through monuments, city renamings, and even currency, underscoring his enduring significance in Croatian culture and identity. Thank you for your attention, if you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe and leave a like.